Look, camera, what my jacket can do. <laughs> Look, camera. Linnea's not in her winter coat today. She's in a... Summer. Whoa, Callum. She's in a spring jacket, a light windbreaker. What I saw before is a jacket that has, that has short sleeves. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's an interesting jacket. That is interesting. Well, it has the same color as this one, but this some blue zippers mm -hmm. and, and, and some green short sleeves. Oh. Hello, everybody. Oh, I've got something on the camera. There we go. Hello, everybody. I've got Linnea and Callum. The three of us are going on a walk. Roman is putting Elliot down for a nap and just having a little bit of quiet time, which he needs. Mommy, how old are you? I am 35. I am five years old. And I'm gonna be six years old on no, my no, birthday. <laughs> no, but you and I turn, you and I are really cool because we turn basically the same, I'm just 30 years older than you. So we, you were born when I was 29, and then I turned 30 the year that you were born. So we're basically 30 years apart. So while I was out on the walk, um, this woman, she stopped, she stopped me. I was speaking English to the kids as I do. And this woman stopped me and she said, where are you from? I said, I'm from the US. And she said, me too. And so we just started talking for about 30 minutes. And that was long. it was long, it was great. It was so great because, um, I think she's a few years older than me, but she's she's got two kids and she has a two-year-old like Elliot And it was so cool because it's like I've always had this experience whenever I meet other Americans abroad. We just like click We just uh, what are you? Really? Callum? Uh, whoa. Whenever I meet people from the US, we just sort of click we have like similar situations. We have a similar culture Usually here for similar reasons and it just um, there's always something to talk about so we exchanged, we exchanged numbers and hopefully we'll get together, which would be really nice. What do you guys have? Ice cream. Ice cream. Cal, what kind did you get? Strawberry. Strawberry and? I got lemon. Lemon. With sprinkles. Look Yum. Sprinkles. <laughs> the first ice of the season, which is so exciting. Such a cool building. <laughs> I love them so much. Kids, do you know how much I love you? So <gasps> what? I know how much you love me. I know More than the end of the number. You've got ice cream all over your face, man. Oh, my babies. Linnea, you've got ice all over your face, too. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys so happy? The first ice of the season. Mine is huge as now. So we'll need to go home and we'll need to change out some laundry. But it's been really nice to have this time with the kids, the two big kids. Good morning, everybody. Greetings from Berlin. Hey, sweetie. So Elliot and I have some errands to run this morning. How's your muffin? Good. And we're just killing some time at Starbucks with a muffin and cappuccino. Yeah. And you've, oh, you've got a car with you? Let me see it. Ooh, what color is that car? Say green. Say green. Green, yeah. Anyway, so we're just killing some time before we can get into some of the other store, stores that we need to get into. Um, just to run some Monday errands. And they changed the rules in Berlin. So now it's um, 3G for vaccinated, recovered, and uh, tested. They've um, let go of some of the restrictions here. So we're able to sit inside without having to test. It's nice because we're just, we're, over, we're by ourselves anyways. I don't think we'd come in if it were super busy. But just hanging out. Well, we're here. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am getting absolutely nothing done today. Nothing done. Go! Go! 
Keep going. <laughs> that little jump. <laughs> Are you running out of breath? Yeah. Yeah, are you getting tired? Nope. So, hello. It's a little dark. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we're just trying, I'm trying to run errands today. We, I, I don't get a whole lot done with the whole family on the weekend, and so I try, usually unsuccessfully, but I try to get a lot done on Monday because I have one child instead of three. Um, and that isn't working very well because nothing is done. <laughs> Ooh, where'd he go? <laughs> we were in Starbucks and I realized that um, his ability to sit like in a restaurant is very different than it is or than it was for Callum and Linnea. And even, you know, the two of them are pretty hyperactive and they've got a lot of energy. It's like, I think because they were used to public, you know, have, not just the public, but like going out in public and just sitting in restaurants, you know, they had more, they just had a different upbringing from the beginning until two than, than Elliot seems to have. And he, it's very clear where he's like, oh wow, I'm out and about. There's so many things I want to see and do. And so they, he just doesn't sit and, and eat. At home, he sits quite nicely and sits and he eats his meal and all that, but out in public, um, it just makes me realize we need to do a lot of, I need to do more of this sort of stuff and just like getting him out and encouraging him to sit and to eat nicely at the table. And he is also a fresh two-year-old, so there's a lot, um, he, he just, he's young. But I, I do think, I definitely do see a difference in the, um, I guess the way he behaves socially, not with other people. He does quite well with other people. He's not like nervous of other people and strangers. He's, he's, he's fine. He's just super excited to see stuff and being outside of home. So I think now that as the world's trying to open back up again, we're, I, I'm trying to make more of an effort to do little things like taking him and sitting him in a coffee shop and, um, I mean, he's never even been on an airplane, so I can't even imagine what his first airplane ride's gonna be like. And goodness gracious, that first time to the States, whoo, it's gonna be rough. <laughs> Go! Mm. Woo, perfect 10. Do it again, jump. Woo! <laughs> I love his little grunts. Oh no. Good morning everyone, cheers. Um, I'm just sitting here having my first cup of coffee for the day. Um, feeling super tired and I have a head cold, which is super fun. My head is driving me crazy. It's not Corona. We all have it. We've all tested negative for Corona. Um, I think it's just normal change of weather colds that, that we get um, around this time of year. And so I'm just feeling kind of low, low energy. And um, I think today's gonna consist of a lot of this because actually this helps. It's like just a warm drink that kind of opens up my sinuses a little bit. And it's uh, it's therapeutic. It makes me feel really happy, even though this is a Christmas cup. Oh well. Yeah. Hey buddy. Yeah. Book? Yeah. Okay. okay, we can read the book. Ready? Yeah. Don't push the button. <laughs> Hi, my name is Larry. Welcome to my book. There's only one rule. Don't push the button. Seriously, don't even think about it. Don't do it. This is a fun book. It does look pretty nice though. Maybe you should give one little push. <laughs> Can you push it again? <laughs> ah, now I'm yellow. 
Can you say yellow? Yellow. Yellow. Push it again. <laughs> Where's blue? There. Good. Where's green? Can you show me green? There. Good boy. Where's purple? There. Good job. Okay, much better. Now, let's not push the button again. But that was kind of fun. Maybe just a couple more pushes. <laughs> oh no! That's a fun one. Oh no! <laughs> so this is the book. It's called Don't Push the Button. It's like that book. There's a book called Press Here that the kids have that they really like. And this is just one like that with like monsters and stuff. So we um, have that book. Ellie, do you want your Peppa book? Okay, you ready for a nap? Okay, bye. Good morning, everybody. So I just got Elliot in the car. I need to hurry and go run some run some errands. And I just wanted to show this, how annoying this is. So now I have to move this dumpster, which will be interesting. Oh, hi bud. Hey. Hey, how are you? Good? <coughs> oh, you've got bottles. He's got empty bottles that we're going to put in. Oh, here's another one. Another empty bottle. We are all dealing with colds. All right, I'm gonna get to the store because gas is expensive. Do not want to sit here with the car running. Well, the um, the grocery store we're gonna go to we can't get to because there are there are police barricades. Um, there are police everywhere. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this. Apparently, we can go shopping now, but I, I don't I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but um, police officer wouldn't say what was going on, but said we can go shopping now. So, okay, so I guess we'll do that if it's okay. No, what, is, what is going on today? What is going on today? All right, are you ready to go shopping? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Elliot and I are waiting here. Callum is in the middle of an appointment. So, this is what little brothers do, they snack. <laughs> you snacking? What are you doing? Oh, we're gonna roll on the floor, okay. Well. <laughs> All right, so Calm's having his lunch. Yeah, do you, to, do you want to go down the little hill? Okay, come on, let's go. Whee! This is fun. It's like a fun little wave. <laughs> Good job, boys. Yeah, so Calm's done with his um, doctor's appointment and then <laughs> and he only has like 30 minutes left of school. I figured he'll probably just stay home. So it's not one of his core subjects. It's like he misses lunch <laughs> at the end of the day. So he's just gonna have lunch with us and then I'll just take him home early. Look at these buildings. This is the former East Berlin. So you can kind of see what it looks like. Here he comes. Yeah. Woo! Yay! Super! All right, I'm sitting outside of our apartment for a few minutes. I honestly just, um, I really just wanted some like fresh air. Elliot's taking his nap and ooh, zoomed in. Cam's sitting 
um, inside watching Pokemon for a little bit and um, thinking about how I need to probably do something with, with this garden. I think mentally I'm having a tough time with everything that's going on in the world. It's very, very hard for me to function like everything's normal. Um, I'm completely distraught over the events in the world and um, I, I, I'm, I, is there anyone else that's like having a hard time? Because it kind of feels like everyone else is just functioning like normal and it's just me that seems to be like having a harder time breathing and um, harder time going to sleep at night and it's hard to feel all this and at the same time know that I've got little kids that need need normal whatever that means now after two years of a pandemic and a potential world war but I don't know yeah I just just wanted you all to know that if you're also kind of feeling like you're in this weird headspace that you are not alone that it is it's a very weird time it's a scary time and um, you are not alone I'm, I'm also feeling that myself I, in fact, I, I wish that more people were being honest about what all of this means in the world. And I wish that we we're having more conversations, not just on a political level, but like, what does it mean to be raising kids in this world right now after a pandemic and on the brink of a potential world war? I mean, as well as trying to maintain jobs and um, you know, the cost of groceries is getting really high and just like what is what is all this what does this all mean so yeah anyways i love you all 